In this video, I'm going to solve this question. An experiment has 10 equally likely outcomes and A and B are two non-empty events of the experiment. If A consists of four outcomes, then we have to find the number of outcomes that B has so that A and B are independent and we are given these four options. So because we are given that the experiments are equally likely, this means that probability of an outcome is equal to 1 divided by 10. And we are also given that A has 4 outcomes. So this means that the probability of A is equal to 4 divided by 10. Now if A and B are independent, then we know that probability of A intersection B should be equal to probability of A multiplied by probability of B. And now we have to find the number of outcomes B must have so that this equation holds. Well, we cannot do much with this equation. So we are going to look at the options that are provided to us. We will test all these options one by one. And then we will use logic to see which option satisfies the conditions that are given to us. And that would be our answer. So let's see if option number A satisfies this equation. So according to option number A, B has four outcomes. So this means that the probability of B will be equal to 4 divided by 10. And this implies that the probability of A intersection B will be equal to 4 divided by 10 multiplied by 4 divided by 10. And this is equal to 16 divided by 100. And I can write it as 1.6 divided by 10. Now note that the numerator of probability of A intersection B cannot be 1.6. In fact, it has to be a natural number because it can never happen that you have 1.6 outcomes common between A and B. Either you will have one outcome or two outcome or three outcomes or four outcomes. So this cannot be here. We should have a natural number here. So part A is not the answer. Let's move to part B. In part B, we are given either it's three or nine. So let's say it's three. So let's say that B has three outcomes. So in this case, the probability of B is equal to three divided by 10 and the probability of A intersection B is equal to probability of A multiplied by probability of B. And this is equal to four divided by 10 multiplied by three divided by 10. And this is equal to 12 divided by 100. And once again, we can write it as 1.2 divided by 10. Well, Using the same logic, we cannot have 1.2 here. So even B is not the answer. Let's move to C. So in part C, we are given that B has six outcomes. So let's see what we get if B has six outcomes. Well, in this case, the probability of B will be equal to six divided by 10 and probability of A intersection B will be equal to four divided by 10 because this is the probability of A multiplied by six divided by 10. And this is equal to 24 divided by 100. And this is equal to 2.4 divided by 10. Well, in fact, C is also not the answer. Now, because A, B and C are not the answer, so that means D should be the answer. But let's see if D satisfy the condition that we are looking for. So according to part D, B should have either five outcomes or 10 outcomes. So let's see what happens in this case. So part D, let's first check what happens if B has five outcomes. Well, in this case, the probability of B will be equal to five divided by 10 and the probability of A intersection B will be equal to four divided by 10 multiplied by five divided by 10. And this is equal to 20 divided by 100 and we can write it as 2 divided by 10. So this makes sense. We have a natural number here. So you can interpret it like this that A has 4 outcomes and B has 5 outcomes and the common outcomes are 2. Okay, now let's check what happens if B has 10 outcomes. So if B has 10 outcomes. Well, in this case, the probability of B is equal to 10 divided by 10. So this is equal to 1. And the probability of A intersection B is equal to 4 divided by 10 multiplied by 1. So it is equal to 4 divided by 10. So in this case, the probability of A intersection B is equal to 4 divided by 10. 
and this is the natural number and this is what we were looking for. So we can interpret that A has 4 outcomes and B has 10 outcomes and the number of outcomes that are common between A and B are 4. So probability of A intersection B is equal to 4 divided by 10. I hope you understand this logic. This is the reason why A, B and C are not the right answer because if we try to interpret the path C, we will get that there are 2.4 common outcomes between A and B which does not make any sense. So the final answer is part D and that's it for this question.